buy a taco, but you don't have any tomatoes, and you don't have any money. Well, uh, if I was you, I'd, I'd just eat some Oreos. Hey guys, I'm Matt, that's my Kai, I'm Kai Taylor, back once again, taking a look at how I made this, uh, this pixel art room that you're seeing here before you. Um, I absolutely love doing these kinds of videos, because not only... Um, do we get to do pixel art, but we get to explain it as well. So the the funny thing about um, <laughs> pieces like this where it's like an entire room of pixel art or an entire scene rather than one singular object like a barrel or a chair or a bed or, you know, a lamp or something. Um, we have a lot of things to tackle in one piece and the, the crazy thing about this is we have to keep all the proportions the same we have to keep all of the um all of the different uh the uh, all the different styles the same the color palettes similar and, and and whatnot and things have to kind of line up a bit so you see here i'm trying to do these um these wooden boards and the uh, not upsetting, but the, the difficult thing or the tedious thing about these is that they have to have the same spacing. And if they don't have the same spacing, then look a little bit uh, a little bit strange. Um, so I, I, try to keep, I try to keep this in mind. I I just kind of copy and paste them all the way down instead of doing them by hand, which just makes everything a lot easier. And then I go back through and I do the uh, individual boards uh, by themselves because... Or like the, 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 the vertical lines on the, on the planks um, individually. So it doesn't look too patterny which i didn't want um and the most important thing that i can say about doing pixel art and making it not too harsh of course this these are all down to perf personal preference and style i can't really say there's anything you can do wrong in pixel art other than um uh, pillow shading which is essentially just shading all sides of an object that makes it look kind of pillowy and kind of soft and kind of strange um but other than that i can't say there's too much too many things you can do wrong um in pixel art quote unquote wrong um, like I said, I'll make a more in-depth video on, on, on pillow shading if you guys seem interested. So let me know down below if you want to see a video on that in particular. But the only thing that I can say is in this video, I did this, this technique, technique a lot. So anything that's on the outside of the art is solid black. So solid black lines. But because I didn't want everything to look super harsh, just the ends of every object. So for instance, the edge of the bed, which is what I'm doing right now, um, the edge of the entire room, you know, the edge of a laptop that I'm going to create in a, a little later on. Um, those are all black lines. And then all the lines on the inside of said object is just darker colors of whatever they're touching. So the, um, so the blue here, you can see, I will make this blue like a darker, uh, it'll have like a, it'll have like a, a little line for the sheets and that sheet is not it's not black it's just a it's just a different color of blue um and you can see here so this pillow i didn't want this pillow to stand out super crazily so there's uh there's not solid black lines on this pillow it's just a darker blue color um and you can see here I, i'll go through and i will actually add some black to that pillow in a bit but you can see this line that i just i've created for the on the bed it's just a darker blue color um, so you can see how I have that darker blue color and then because I want it to be a little softer on the pillow I kind of create this softer softer blue um, Color not to be super harsh because I don't want the pillow to be super harsh because it's, it's, it's a pillow um, I do this technique a lot in this video. Um, so it's kind of like um, Softer in internal lines and, and harder external lines um, to kind of set the the shape and then just say, hey There's a there's a line here on this pillow, but I don't want it to be a hard line the same thing with this table um, you can see for the the edges here. I do a uh, on the on the edge uh, to make to give it some thickness. I just create a darker line here, which is what I'm doing right there. Um, and then I create what I what I call a highlight line or a highlight layer or a highlight you know edge. I, I highlight edge. That's cool. Um, and then I go through and essentially I just put a lighter color than the lightest color of the table. I put a lighter color on the edge where the like the the little corner would be. Um, which I think makes it just pop. It just looks so good. I love the way that looks. So I always make sure I do that when I'm creating something that has an edge. Like this, uh, the bed has an edge as well. You can see I put a little highlight uh, line on that as well. Um, and then uh, for this lamp, I really didn't know what I wanted to do here. I kind of wanted to make this a potted plant. But I'll be honest, I just couldn't get it the way, to look the way that I really wanted to. And by the time I figured out that I, it wasn't the way that I wanted it, I thought a lamp would just be smarter because like there was no lamp in the room. So I just thought it was a better idea. Um, and with the shadows, I'll talk about this because this is uh, uh, a little strange. So what I did was I created a new layer over top of 
um, the initial pixel art layer, and I just created a, a darker, a darker bluish color. And what I did was I kind of just dropped the opacity down of that layer instead of creating a darker color, um, like this laptop. I like this laptop. That's not an overlaid color. It, it's just the color that I that I chose. So if that makes sense. So I don't usually like doing overlaid colors for sh for shading on pixel art because it kind of it doesn't have the same effect, but for the shadows, I really thought that that looked uh, good, and I thought it would be fine to do, especially because there's a lot of texture on the ground, and I didn't want to have to recolor all of the texture by hand, so I just created a nice little overlay. Um, I'm just making the room shorter because it was a little too tall. Nice little painting here. That took me a good second to figure out what I wanted to do inside of, um, but, uh, but yeah, that laptop, I thought the laptop was a really cool piece, which is silly because it's very small. But um, I actually really enjoyed this 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 scene that I made today. Um, I think it's very simple, but I think it's very clean. I, I, I like the rug as well that I'm making right now. I just really enjoyed this, and I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, did as well. Um, like I said, if you want more in-depth uh, pixel art uh, videos on a specific topic, or if you want me to do another scene like this, do let me know down below. If you don't want to leave a comment, which um, which I completely understand, just make sure you hit the like button so I know you guys actually enjoyed this, so I'll make more pixel art content in the future. I'll see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. But until then... Bye-bye.